So it's unbelievable to me that the left has gotten the point where they are willing to justify the destruction of property. Of course, we know that Marxists don't believe in property, that they believe property is a consequence of exploitation, that the only, only meaningful thing is manual labor. But this Marxism now kind of attitude, implicit, it's not even explicit Marxism. None of these people have read Marx. They don't know Marx, but it's kind of in leftist culture. It's just part of the culture. They just assume property doesn't matter. Now, of course, we know also that property can easily be, become a life. We know that David Dorn, a retired police captain, and an African-American, by the way, not that that's relevant, was killed protecting a pawn shop in St. Louis. He was protecting his shop from, not from robust speech. <laughs> he was protecting it from violence. And the violence escalated, as it often does. And he paid for that with his life. I'm, I'm, I'm reading this from um, uh, Jonah Goldberg's article, right? So often the destruction of property is just a precursor to the destruction of life. So I, I just want to make that clear because I've seen this all over YouTube, I, I, all over Twitter, I'm sorry. You've got to stick to your claim. Destruction of property is absolutely violence. Not on the same scale as taking a life, still violence, and often leads to the taking of a life. So it's serious violence. It's violence for which the perpetrator should sit in jail. Sit in jail for a significant amount of time. To build up property is time, effort, energy. In other words, life. Property is, an, is a necessary aspect of human life. One cannot live if one doesn't produce. One cannot live from one's production unless one can keep what one produces. That is the moral argument for property. It is the fact that it is a necessary feature of living, of a life, of production, of productiveness. So human survival depends on the existence of property. When, when one breaks property, when one destroys property, when one shatters property, one is shattering life. One is attacking life. Not completely, not my whole life, but a big aspect of our life. You're not killing me, but you're getting pretty damn close. What we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think. Meaning, any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect, not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brute. Using the super chat, and I noticed yesterday when I appealed for uh, support for the show, many of you stepped forward and actually uh, supported the show for the first time. So I'll do it again. Maybe we'll get some more today. Um, if you like what you're hearing, if you appreciate what I'm doing, then I appreciate your support. Uh, those of you who don't yet support the show, please take this opportunity. Go to yourronbrookshow.com slash support or go to subscribestar.com, yourronbrookshow. And, um, and, and make a kind of a monthly contribution uh, to, keep this, uh, to keep this going. I'm not sure when the next...